Hi guys, and today I'm going to be showcasing the Ultra Omni Night Blade and all the AE games except Over Soul and Hero Smash because they weren't included this time. Um, because if you remember, about a month ago I actually uploaded um videos on getting the Ultra Omni Night Blade in all the games and actually showed that. So yeah, and then last year I actually did a video showcasing the normal, the original. I mean, I played in all the games, and this year it's going to be Ultra. So anyway, starting off with the AQW version. Um, probably seen this quite a lot, I'm guessing. Yeah, the AQW version, um, nothing quite special. AC tag, so free storage. Um, but we'll go ahead and move on to the MechQuest one. So be right back. Okay, so for MechQuest, um, it's actually one of the blades for your character. Um, just need to find it. So, here we go. Um, Ultra Omni Knight E Blade. There you go. So, anyway, if I go into. Um, just a normal battle, and with a human, uh, I will be using that. So I'll go ahead and do this event, this quest quickly, because I'm pretty sure there's a part like that. Yeah, I've done this before. Uh... So yeah, I can't really show it in battle right now, because I have no idea where I can actually find one of the battles where it's just me, I completely forgot. Um, it actually is pretty late here right now. Um, but you can see it on my character, anyway. Uh... Yeah, you can see it on my character anyway. Um, it's very different compared to last year's, because this is the original one, and then there's the Ultra one, which is completely different. But, yeah, it doesn't have any really special effects, so you basically just slash your enemies, um, in battle, but it does look nice. So, we'll go on to the Avenger Quest one now, so be right back. Okay, so for Avenger Quest... Um, there actually is no blade in Event Quest right now. Um, I'm pretty sure the only thing that was available was that Karnak stuff, so instead of the blade, you get that Karnak set. Um, pretty sure. Just look for a second. Because, yeah. Yeah, because, yep, there was no actual Ultra Omni Night Blade. Except we got the staff, and we also. Ah. Okay. I didn't see that. Yeah, so instead of the blade, we got the staff, which can change element. That's pretty nice. And then we also got the Karnax armor. It's pretty cool. Ah, okay, so it actually does have a special move. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and we'll go into the Dragon Fable one then. That's not doing really anything. That's better. But yeah, we'll go into the Dragon Fable one. So yeah, be right back. Okay, so for Dragon Fable, um, you get the sword. Um, 
pretty sure, just need to find it. Uh, it was right there. So you actually get the sword. And you can use that in battle. So I'm actually going to go ahead and find a battle and use it. So be right back. Okay, so I found a battle. Um, so I have no idea how good this is. I've actually not tried it. But yeah, I'm just using normal armor. So yeah, this is the Ultra Omni Nightblade in Dragon Fable. It would do a lot more damage with um, Avatar of Time class, I'm pretty sure. And also, um, if it was on a skeleton. But yeah, that's the uh, Ultra Omni Nightblade. Um, no special effects, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so on to the final, which is the Epic Duel. So, be right back. So, yeah, with Epic Duel, um, oh, uh, it was probably, this one probably took the longest to get this year in Epic Duel. It was pretty long, it took a pretty long time to get it. But yeah, there was actually two versions. Um, I'm pretty sure there was actually two or three. But the other versions I did not get. They were actually with codes and um, I did not get around to getting the codes when they were out. And they the codes are rare now. So I only have the red version. Um, but the other version would look exactly the same as the one in Dragon Fable and AKW. So, instead of red, it'll be blue. Um, but yeah, this is the, um, physical version, and then the energy version would be blue. Um, I have not upgraded it, because I can't right now. But yeah, the, you can take a look, this is how it looks like. Um, but we can go ahead and try it out anyway. So, I might as well do that. Okay, so just to test it, it's not upgraded, so won't do much. But yeah, that is the red version. Um. But yeah, that is all the Ultra Omni Knight Blades in all the games. Um, so yeah. Next year I'm pretty sure there's going to be another um, different item for their birthday. Where you have to go hunting in the games. Um, because yeah, this year you didn't have to go to every game to get it in AEW. Or, like, in the other games, you just had to go to the Pacific game that you wanted it in, and got it there. Um, unlike last year. Last year, you had no choice to get it in AQW or any other game, you had to farm in all of them, so yeah. But this year was different. Um, but yeah, I will go back to AQW. But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, that was just showcasing the Ultra Omni Knight Blade in all the games where it was available. Um, in Adventure Quest it wasn't available, but I put that in there. Because I did actually um, show how to get the thing for it. But the blade just never came out in there. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.